Hello everyone, Shinto Bean here, playing some more Warhammer combat cards, and here we are at the beginning of another season of Ranked Mode. And this is the anniversary week, the third anniversary of this game. Um, before we get into a preview of the anniversary event, I'm just going to take a look at the Battle Pass. Uh, this is the second season of the Battle Pass, uh, since it was first released. So it's pretty much the same, uh, the only difference are... Uh, a number of the unique cards which you can unlock through this uh, battle pass. The first of which is uh, this rare card, the Sidonian Dragoon of the Adeptus Mechanicus. It's a melee scout. Uh, pretty tanky stats. It gets plus 10 uh, stats per upgrade. That's what it looks like at max level. And 53 initiative, so pretty fast card uh, there. So, pretty cool card. Uh, we also have the cosmetics, which we can't actually zoom in on, but the cosmetics are Dark Angels themed, which is um, pretty nice. Back when I first started playing 40k, the tabletop, back in like middle school, I think, uh, Dark Angels was the one faction I was, I was into the most at the time. So, pretty nice looking cosmetics there, as you can see. Uh, the legendary that you can get through the premium battle pass are the Blue Scribes, which uh, is a... Psyker for the Chaos Faction, and the only one with shields, so kind of tanky Psyker there. And again, high initiative, so that's actually a pretty decent card. So yeah, those are the the unique things you can unlock, unlock through the premium battle pass. If you go all the way down to the final level, uh, you can get a portrait uh, on the free side if you make it all the way to uh, level 28. Alright, so that is the Battle Pass, and now let's take a look at the event. So, we have an exploration, where it looks like we're playing as Servants of the Emperor and Space Marines. Not sure if it'll be both of them combined. Uh, we'll find out in a few hours, but we're playing against Chaos. Uh, we have 225 deck points available, everything is set to max level, and the modifier is cut off the head, which is the one where you kill the highest cost card and then all of your deployed cards gain uh, a bunch of attack stats for that. So it's a, it's a pretty fun modifier. I think um, I was watching the, the stream uh, the, of the developers just a little bit. I didn't watch the whole thing, but they said some. I think they mentioned that they'll actually have a set Warlord for each level here. So everyone will have to play as that Warlord uh, for the level. So you do get to choose the bodyguards, but uh, it's just a bit of a challenge. A nice thing for newer players is that even if you don't have that Warlord, uh, it will still be available to play. So those newer players will be able, will get a chance to try out uh, Warlords that they might not have in their collection. Uh, decent rewards here. We're using the Strike System, so four strikes. And then the one thing of note here is that you can see the final reward after 20 wins is the one and only Gregor Eisenhorn. Uh, this is a special card because... Up until now, only a handful of players were able to obtain a copy of this guy through, like, special giveaways. Uh, so not many players actually own him. Uh, I was lucky enough to, to earn him in a... Uh, they did a little, like, art competition type thing. So that's where I got my copy. But, yeah, at level 1, he is at max level. So you cannot upgrade him any further. Uh, but he is pretty strong. Uh, for newer players, I think. For veteran players, he's not really the most useful card ever. I don't actually run him in any of my decks currently. Uh, but yeah, again, for newer players, if you do manage to get a copy of him, he will probably be a lot stronger than any other card uh, in your collection. So yeah, there he is. Available for everyone who makes it to the end of this uh, campaign. Now, I'm not sure what else, if there will be more campaigns um, after this one ends. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Uh, but they all so will have giveaways every day I think during this anniversary event, so those will appear in the shop. Uh, free bundles that you can uh, usually, I think, just claim uh, every 24 hours, so keep an eye out for that. Good stuff coming this week, so uh, happy anniversary. And uh, that's it for this preview. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.